welcome and como estas to the very first installment of It's a Remarkable Time, Who Cares? Tonight on the show, we have three different guests. We have a busboy who works at a local restaurant called The Clam Clench. We have a busker for money who plays songs on the street for money. We also have a busybody who is a prostitute and she has pimp tales to tell us. And uh, being that this is the first show, I think it would be remiss if I did not mention that we are not live. And the studio audience, watch out for them. You'll laugh at things. You might not. You might not think it funny. <laughs> First guest on the show this evening is all the way from Argentina. His name is Horatio Gloverfellow. Come on in. Let's give a warm round of applause to this fellow human. No, you can't touch me. Anyway. So. You're a busboy over at the uh, Clanch Clam. <laughs> so Clam Clanch. The Clam Clanch. Yeah, that's that's the one. How long have you exactly worked there for? Um, seventeen years. Seventeen years? You don't look a day over fifteen. So I gotta say, you're you're doing something right. Uh, it must be that that dumpster diving you're finding some good minerals. Uh, do you, when you when you go home at night, where where do you where is it that you find your yourself at home? Well, at the end of the night, sometimes I get paid. So uh, things can't be all that bad. You have a bridge. It's kind of like a roof under your under your feet. Yeah, things are looking up. I have a new shopping cart. Um, I can take it hunting for dishes. That's, uh, that's completely apt for a, for a busser like you. Um, have you ever encountered um, God in your travels? And if you have, do you think that God is a little bit retarded? For <laughs> um, I had a friend named Clifton. He told me about God, and he <laughs> made me an Adam doll. It was made out of... Short ribs. Have you ever been to jail there, mm. Horatio? Um, jail is kind of like Virginia. <laughs> so do you have a favorite type of whale? Humpback whale. <laughs> um, so why don't you get a job? Well, the only thing that I'm good at is I start the fires in the women's bathroom. Oh, great. Now I just gotta put them out then. What's going on? Quick question for you. Now I know that you're a very bussy man. <laughs> but surely you have time for, for leisure activities. Now in your in your leisure activities, I've always wanted to know this about bridge dwellers. Are you I like the oatmeal pies. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. You, like those guys. you read my mind. Do you know how to uh, program a VCR slash DVD player combo? You know, to, to have the correct time on it so it just stops flashing at 12 o'clock. I saw my favorite movie one time. It was called uh, Razor Blade Man. You've seen it, right? Wasn't that with uh, Kilroy Levinson and uh, Jill Roy um, Believe in House? Um, is that, that? Is that PG rated? 1981? It was a kids movie, but then they made it into uh, um, Everyone Was Killed. Happy Ever. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us on our show. Thanks for being the first guest. I hope that 
you don't fall off too many bridges, don't run into too many trolls on your excavations. <laughs> I, uh, had a quick favor to ask of you, though. Um, do you think you'll be able to take this over to the kitchen? Yeah, that's the spirit. Chop, chop, chop.